wasn't always afraid of the dark. In fact, as a child, I was drawn to it. I mean, the darkness was a place where my mind could so easily get the best of me. You know? It was a rush. But it was a rush with a lever. At any given time, I could just flip the light switch on, and whatever monsters that my mind created would just disappear. I moved to Iowa when I was 12 years old, and almost immediately, I began hearing tales of ghosts and hauntings. I mean, everybody's got a story. Everybody's got a haunted house, or there's haunted cemeteries, there's the Feliska house, the axe murder house. I'd say there's, there's a lot of eerie stuff going on in, in some of these small towns in Iowa. At the time, I was completely atheist. And I definitely didn't believe in ghosts. But about a year after we moved in, we adopted my little sister. She was three years old. She was Native American Indian. Shortly after, things began to happen. Go, 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 go. Ah, ah. I was over there one night, and some things happened that I just couldn't rationally explain. And it's one of those things that unless you were there, there's no nouns or verbs I could throw at anybody would make you understand. And I thought they were crazy up until I saw stuff for myself. And the experiences grew. It became more and more frightening. And what seemed like a logical response to my father was to call in a man of the cloth. But after two preachers came to our house, but refused to come in, out of desperation, my parents chose to pick up and move to another city, where they've been fine ever since. But I was left with not only a fear of the dark, but a burning desire to understand exactly what I had been through. Although I had experienced these events firsthand, there was a part of me that felt as though, you know, it just couldn't be real. If I was ever going to conquer my fears, I needed to believe that ghosts were imaginary. I've spent the last 20 years of my life investigating locations that are thought to be the world's most haunted. Everything from maximum security prisons, to sanatoriums, to cemeteries, and Indian burial sites. And my two best friends in Justin and Joe have become my brothers in a war to conclusively prove that ghosts do not exist. And unfortunately, it's a war that we have failed to win. So now, we're going to show you why. <laughs>